we got to talk some House of the Dragon season finale. I have been lazy with this channel. I completely skipped over my review for episode seven. Now, with this season finale of House of the Dragon, I have been a defender when it comes to the, the small talk, the character development, the world building, all this stuff. A big critique a lot of people had about season two. It's too slow. Not enough's happening. Yada, yada, yada. I have been a huge defender of the complete opposite. I have been saying, let them cook. Let these storytellers and writers do their thing. We got it coming. Don't worry. We're going to get that payoff. And I thought this episode was really working towards. I specifically remember as we played this, me and my wife sat down to watch it, got the popcorn ready. We were ready to go. I was like, oh my gosh, like an hour and a half runtime. I think it was like an hour and 25 minutes or something like that. But I was like, dude, we are in it. We are in it. And throughout this whole episode, I was just, it, it was flying by. I was eating it up. I loved where everything was going with our characters, specifically Damon. I thought the cool flashbacks, seeing Daenerys and all that. And then I was just thinking, oh my God, I love this stuff about Game of Thrones. I love this Three-Eyed Raven shit, this Nightwalker stuff. And it was really cool to see that on screen. And just, God, I was eating it up. I thought we were just, I did not realize when this show, when this episode ended, I was like, oh shit, we're done? Where did the time go? I mean, I was just so in like engulfed in the story. Like I was just, I was digging this episode and I just thought we were getting this payoff with this runtime and I knew what's, I know what's coming. I know season three is going to be pure chaos, but I thought at the very least we would get some sort of payoff at the end of this, but we really did it. Like I, we're, we're that was the biggest, like, what the fuck? Are we really done? I mean, why my wife and I both looked at each other and like, really? That's that's where we're leaving it? That's what we're doing? Now, I'm all for, if it's done properly, a good cliffhanger. But I want some payoff before the send-off. And I feel like with this season, we didn't get that. And it was just a big slap in my face for the whole time. And every video I feel like I made about this season was just, let them cook, let them cook. They cooked. They overcooked. We're leaving it in the fucking oven on the stove, on the grill, in the smoker for two years until we get some sort of payoff with this final clash between these two houses, families, family members. Like, oh, dude, it's just so frustrating. And I want to talk more about this episode, but I, it's just so it's been two days now since I've watched. I believe it is. What is today? No, it came out Sunday. Shit, it's Wednesday. It's been like three days. And I'm still just so flustered that everything that happened in this episode, all the development with the characters, seeing um, Rhaenyra with her riders, seeing Damon, you know, trying to force his sister, all that stuff, like the, the Allison meeting up Rhaenyra, trying to just end this stuff and run away. And it's it just doesn't matter. I feel like just a big fuck you was sent over to people like me who were just preaching, dude, you got to let him cook. But if you're going to cook, you got to give us something. I mean, outside of, I think it was episode four where Rainey's ate the dust and the whole big battle scene and stuff like that. I know we don't need that every episode. We don't need that. But the season finale, this, this felt like at the end of this episode, it was like episode six. That's not how a season finale should be. A season finale should be massive, massive should be huge, should have just a compelling story Oh, dude, it's just so frustrating how this season end. It's so fresh. I just feel like, I know there's a lot of good things coming with season three, but this was the first time I felt like, holy shit, they're going to drag this out. Like my concern with this story, I don't feel like, I, I saw somebody talking about how this needed to be seven or eight episodes or seven and eight seasons. I'm like, dude, there's just not enough story. And my, one of my biggest concern about this storyline is, how much are you going to stretch it? Is it going to be three seasons? Is it going to be four seasons? I thought three seasons it would be the perfect number, but now it's just like I watched this episode. I'm like, God, they are trying to stretch this out. Is this final conflict or these final upcoming conflicts, are they just going to be stretched out for three or four more seasons? Like, what? Are, what is the plan? I, I don't know if I'm rambling, but my mind's going everywhere. And it was just beyond frustrating, especially when I, I was just digging this episode from start to end. I was digging it, 
But the way it ended, knowing we have another two years, knowing that we didn't get any sort of payoff this season for all this shit we went through with all the heavy dialogue episodes, the world building and uh, character building and growth and all that stuff. It just, we didn't get the payoff. Now I got to wait two years. I got, there's a whole other fucking season about Duncan Ank, I believe, coming out the hedge night before we get the payoff for this. It's like, golly, man. Just, I don't know. It was a good episode. I, 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 it's, I know it's getting rated very poor. I think it's like a, like probably the lowest rated episode for this season, if not the second worst. I was enjoying it, but knowing it was the season finale, and I feel like this is where a lot of people feel we didn't get that payoff. We wanted more out of a season finale, and it just, that just was not delivered. I, I know it's a good episode when I'm sitting there, and it's just hauling ass. I guess it moved along seamlessly. It did not feel like an hour and 15-minute episode with you know eight minutes on the ass end and like three minutes at the beginning. So, But uh, I'm just flustered. I'm frustrated. Maybe not as moody as a lot of people out there on the internet are, but I respect this episode. I thought it was a good episode. It just it just wasn't enough. It was not enough. And we, we could dive into some of the cool stuff we saw with Damon. I just, you know, that got me hyped. I thought, I wish it was Amelia Clark that came back in that role, but it was um lady that, I'm. it was a cool opportunity for her as an actress to get to play the iconic role as Daenerys. But just... It's like watching Star Wars. When we get good Star Wars, we all know it's all leading to the sequel trilogy. And it's just, eh. We all know the visions and all this stuff and where this eventually goes is what we got in season eight. I think it was, right? It was eight seasons, Game of Thrones. We know where it goes. We know the unfortunate, just rushed bullshit ending that we got from those two dipshits that were supposed to direct your Star Wars movies, but never got it because the Game of Thrones ended so poorly. But it was still cool. It was cool to see the Night King. It was cool to see the Three-Eyed Raven. It was cool to jump back into that. And it here's an interesting Helena, Helena. What is she? She has some sort of sight. She's seen something. She's seen her death. She's seen how this all works out. And it, that was a cool moment between her and Damon. That was really cool. That was the first time I feel like we've seen Damon kind of panicking and just show that little piss, piss attitude boy that we've, you know, whatever. But Damon cracked or um, Eamon cracked a little bit this episode. A lot of cool things, but overall, just not enough, man. That is my House of the Dragon season finale review. I know it's a few days late. I apologize, but just didn't hit home, man. Just not, just not enough. Not enough. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment. Let me know your thoughts on the season finale of House of the Dragon. If you're interested in future content, please subscribe. Deuces.